we know what that music means. Rawson reports time. Were you preparing for Thanksgiving dinner? Well, here's an eye-opening calorie count from our good friend today, National Investigator <laughs> Correspondent Jeff Rawson. A good friend for now. Yeah. Womp, yes. womp, womp. That hey, Jeff. Womp, womp. Yeah, ever wonder how many calories you guys eat on Thanksgiving? No. 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 <laughs> it's a lot. Take care. Goodbye. Yeah, experts say during a regular dinner, you should have around 1,000 calories on Thanksgiving. Obviously, we eat more. It's all part of the fun. But you may not realize how much more you're eating. It's easy to break the calorie bank, maybe a few buttons. So this morning, one brave family, a group of victims, are letting us in. They have no idea they are the subjects of our secret food test. And what they ate may change the way you spend Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving. We are throwing a feast for the Lemieux family. And we do it right with all the trimmings. Turkey, ham, mac and cheese, stuffing. They think we're here doing a general story about Thanksgiving and families. But here's what they don't know. Our Ross and Reports producers are logging every bite they take. And in this car parked outside is our secret food expert, Cornell University professor Brian Wansick. Three ounces of ham. Well, three ounces of turkey. He's crunching the numbers and calculating the calories for each person. Right away, even as the family is still cooking the meal, we notice something. Isn't it good, Jack? It is. All of them picking, picking, picking. Oh my God. <laughs> All those pre dinner calories adding up. How many people were in there? I mean, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> I know. She had three glasses of white wine before dinner okay, okay, and two it. rolls. When dinner is ready, they don't hold back, piling their plates. How's the food? Delicious. I love the mac and cheese. I love the mac and cheese too, it's so good, right? <laughs> they keep on going with seconds, even thirds. But it's Thanksgiving, we're not done yet. Who's ready for dessert? Yay! Nice, there we go. Pecan pie, how Thanksgiving is that? They devour the pie and the cheesecake. And when they're finally done, it's time for the big reveal. All right, do you guys want to know the real reason we're here? Yes. <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> I have been counting all of your calories and watching everything you ate. Who, who won? Uh, who won? <laughs> you mean who lost? <laughs> As a family, we have totaled up all the calories that you ate today. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> you guys ate 24,000. <laughs> 165 calories in this one Thanksgiving meal. So which family member ate the most calories? <laughs> Wrong. It's her. <laughs> Jackie, wait until you hear how many calories you had in this meal. You had 3,690 calories. Oh, man. Even more surprising, 1,290 of those calories came before she even sat down for dinner. She did work out this morning, though. <laughs> Coming in a close second, TJ with a whopping 3,390 calories in one meal. TJ. <laughs> Thanksgiving is about the food and about being thankful and being together. So more about the food than that. Okay. More about the food. <laughs> okay, so what do you make of these numbers? I mean, this is amazing, but it's no different than in any other Thanksgiving in America. About 20% of all the calories they ate were eaten before the meal even started. Well, because you're not thinking about the calories. You think about the calories all week long, so you're not really thinking about your health conscious and whatnot. And now it's time for their nap. Happy Happy Thanksgiving to some good sports up in Connecticut who now hate me, by the way. So, so what is the best way to avoid some of those Thanksgiving calories? Experts say put the unhealthy dishes like mac and cheese and sweet potatoes on a side table. Believe it or not, most of us will not get up oh, and get them. Oh, you don't know my family. <laughs> we are that are you crazy? Wow. <laughs> Oh my really? Don't you burn off half those calories with the touch football yeah, game that yeah, goes before definitely. the meal? Come on. <laughs> and by the way, why do you think they have those pants with elastic? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they're made yeah, that waistband. Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, our news president, Deborah Turnus, was downstairs, who clearly plans on going to town on Thanksgiving. It said, <laughs> yeah. how, how much weight can you gain in one day? So I looked it up in Women's Health magazine. Yeah. It turns out, let's say you had normally have 2,000 calories in a day. You have to have 3,500 additional calories to whatever you have. So that would mean... For a 2,000 calorie diet, 5,500 calories in one day, you gain one pound. It's nice. worth it for Thanksgiving. Okay, love it. Yeah, Jeff, thanks, thank Jeff. you.